to continue talking about the, the, the ZFC axiom. So last we talked, we talked about the axiom of union. So the next axiom, fifth axiom, is the power set axiom. The power set axiom. This claims the existence given any set, the set of all subsets. That uh, if you've taken a proof writing class in math, you should be familiar with. So this states formally for all A, for all sets A, there exists a unique set fancy F such that for all X, X is in F if and only if uh, X, whoops, A, X is a subset of A like this. So the shorthand for this is that the set uh, the set of all subsets of a set exists. So and then a notational definition Given A, we denote by P of A the power set, the power set of A. So in other words, this is this P of A is going to be the set granted to us by five. Um, some examples. So example, let's say that A were equal to the set AB where AB are just two elements of the set of the set A. Well, if we were to compute the power set of A, we'd get it has four elements, namely the empty set, the set containing A, the set containing B, and then the set A itself. Um, so this is example one. Another example would be what if A were equal to the empty set, then the power set of the empty set, well the only thing that's a subset of the empty set is the empty set itself. So again it has one element. Uh, and the power set of the power set, so we could iterate this process, like something like this. And we, if you compute this, you actually end up getting it's the empty set, and the set containing the empty set, like this. In general, if if the size, um, this is in a in air quotes because we haven't formally discussed this. So if the size of of a is n, so this is just a natural number. Um, I'll write it on the next page. So if size of, if the size of A is say n, uh, this then the size of P of A is two to the n. And we'll discuss this more in depth in another video when we talk about cardinality. Okay, so that was that was the fifth axiom, which is the axiom of power set. The axiom, the next axiom is called the comprehension schema. So this isn't just one axiom, but it's a bunch of axioms, and I'll explain what that means. They call the comprehension. Schema. And this means that for every property that we have, it declares the existence of another set. So, what do I mean by this? For all properties, for all properties P of X, and this is going to be of one variable,
uh, we have the following. We have for all uh, sets A, there exists a unique B such that for all sets X, X is in B if and only if, uh, I'll write it underneath, but X is in A and B of X holds. So this is saying that if we have a set, if we're given a set and we have a property, there, then there exists the set of all elements of that set satisfying that property. So in other words, so what's the shorthand for this? Or the, uh, to help you remember, the collection of elements of A satisfying P forms a set. And a notational definition definition um, Given, given a property P and a set A, we would write for the B that was uh, granted to us by 6, we would write B is the set of all X and A such that P of X holds. Okay, so that's so that's enough about this. In the next video, we'll talk about the axiom of infinity and um, perhaps the replacement schema, but I think we're only going to have time to talk about infinity.